Hello Doodlers and everybody else that does all kinds of different art, painting, doodles, portraits, whatever it is that you do and create. I have with me today a new pen that I've been wanting to get. And I've got my Staler 0.35 and uh, all of my road strings that are all taken apart that need cleaned and a lot of work done to get those to work because none of them wanting to work. But I have here a new pen that I'm going to be drawing with. And this one is the road string, if you can see that. I don't know if it's flipped backwards or not in the camera. I don't know. We'll find out until I upload. But this is a roaching um, 0.1 millimeter. I had to look at it. For some reason, I kept thinking 0 0.01. But this is roaching 0 0.1 millimeter that I'm going to be doing some doodles with. And um, take a look at this. So here's the pen so far. Comes in this little handy, uh, looks like a trough or something that you would put food in, doesn't it? It was okay. It only fell like that far onto my table. Um, and it's in, it's all put together and everything. So this is the pen. Point one. I think it's focusing. There, now you can see it. But um, this one is the finest nib that you can get of all of the rotary pins um, or really of any technical pin that I know of really um, here's a reservoir in it so that you can refill I've never had the rapidograph I've only had the isographs and yep sounds good um, I was told once by somebody that I think they they changed the manufacturing of these pens from Germany to Japan, and they were having issues with them not working. Um, this one it was made in Germany and everything, but I don't know if the parts were made in Japan and shipped to Germany and assembled there. I don't know. But I was told that a while back, um, I think it was a couple months ago, because all of my rotating isographs I take apart and I'm cleaning them, um, I had issues with all the sizes of nibs, except for the 0.35, but I do so much drawing with them that, uh, I think I just wore out the 0.35 pen, and, uh, is it possible that the tip of the pen can wear down and, and just not work anymore? Because I think that's what happened, because I do, you know, thousands of drawings with these, to the point that, uh, I think it's possible, maybe. I mean, you're drawing on paper with a piece of metal, but who knows? Maybe it is possible. I don't know. But um, this is a new pen I got, and I'm going to be doing some doodles with this. Now, it might take, I don't know, it might take a long time to finish a drawing with this. I haven't tested what the line width is like on this, but I will make a video on that, a separate video outside of this one, um, because I have a lot of things I want to work on, a lot of things I want to draw. I want to do ballpoint pen drawings, I want to do sharpie drawings, I want to do marker drawings, I want to do a Staedtler and Vertring and fountain pen and brush pen, which I have a brush pen here. I want to start practicing doing some drawing with that. I want to do some drawing with some pencils. I've got a fountain pen over here. I've got my other like gel pen, technical pen thing over here. I do some drawing with that. I've got pens. And things all over the place and I've got my accurate technical pen and I've got my my Lamy Safari which I almost forgot the name of it for some reason and and the video is very colorful on here I don't know how or why but it's extremely colorful I don't know maybe maybe I finally have a good sitting set on my phone so that it records good that reminds me I, I, I thought about just trying to make everything perfect and professional when I'm making videos, like using my DSLR, make it all amazing and everything. But I think the convenience of using my phone so I can make more content sometimes is nice. But then sometimes I have to be careful so I don't get completely burnt out trying to uh, make so many videos. Uh, but I will be doing more time-lapse stuff, talking about things and videos. And uh, yeah, so I just drank myself some tea. It was a peppermint tea. And... Uh, I think it was like a, a black tea bag and a peppermint tea bag I used together. And um, had a little bit of honey into it, a tiny bit, just to make it sweet. And I drank that, and then I'm going to eat again. And then start some drooling with this pen. Um, I'm 
I'm curious to find out to see what the line width is for it. Like, like how much smaller is the line width than this thing here compared to the staler. Now I do notice the staler, the 0.35 staler, the line width is slightly wider than the 0.35 of the road train. So I imagine that this one is going to be a super thin line and I'm going to have to draw on the smoothest paper that I have. I mean, the Moleskine sketchbook is really smooth paper, so that should be perfectly fine to that one. So I'll probably, I'll probably use one of those to draw in. But um, I'll go ahead and get started doodling with this pen, see what we can make so we can uh, doodle up or draw up or uh, think up or create or whatever word it is that you want to, that you want to use for drawing or doodling or, or anything. I mean, doodling is a drawing, isn't it? I mean, don't overthink it. Anyways, let's uh, just go ahead and get into some doodling and drawing, see what we can make here, and uh, yeah, we'll see. Anyways, I will talk to Will later, and I gotta set this up better. I think my I think my phone moved. There it goes. It was falling over. I think it's okay now. Should be. Phone moves. Okay. Anyways, I will talk to you later. I'm gonna do some doodling. See what else we can make. Um, oh, almost forgot. Um, check the links in the description of this video, and go to my main page. You can find um, where I post my drawings. Um, I've been doing a whole bunch of free drawings and everything for people. And I was posting them on Instagram at the moment. So if you want to, just follow me on there. Message me. I can do a free drawing for you. Um, and uh, I'm just doing it because I enjoy it. I want to see how many drawings I can get done. Um, just follow me. Message me on there. Contact me. Email me. Check all the links. But I've, I'm just so busy with work, life, and everything that I haven't really been doing any videos or anything recently in the past couple months. Just, just life stuff. But, um... Anyways, I'll, I'll try to get back to doing that more often now and um, making videos. But I have been doing a lot of drawing. I've just been busy with life and everything. So anyways, go ahead and comment below. Let me know if you want a drawing. Just follow me on there or message me and um, I'll try to get a doodle done. And maybe hopefully next time I can try to set this up without the phone moving all over the place. There we go. Kind of scenic with the, the wood in the background. I guess sort of. I don't know. Anyways, I will talk to you all later. And uh, you have a good day. So, oh, do you have you ever drawn with one of these? If any of you have, uh, let me know in the comments below if you ever drawn with a roaching point one, um, and what the line width and everything was like for you. But anyways, you'll have a great day, and I'll see you later. Have fun doodling.